Thank you, Mr Speaker. And tomorrow is the 60th anniversary of the last serviceman being stood down from national service, and so may I express our thanks to all those who served. Yeah. The headline findings of the five-year review of the Armed Forces Compensation Scheme found the process overly burdensome and even distressing. I have heard many complaints about the scheme from veterans and their families, and I am sure ministers have. So, with the government missing its own casework targets, delaying action on the scheme is not good enough, as it continues to let down our armed forces community. So can I press the Minister on when we will see the final report of the review and can he confirm that there will be meaningful improvements made to the scheme before summer recess? Minister. Um, well, Mr Speaker, as I have said in response to earlier questions, around £40 million is being invested in the ongoing transformation process to digitise the existing paper-based um, processes and records. And that will be transformative. These are hundreds of thousands of records kept largely on paper, which make them extraordinarily difficult to process and have caused all of the delays that the, right, that the Honourable Lady rightly mentions. But since the new online digital claim service was launched through the gov.uk website, um, the service has been available to service personnel and veterans. The new service has been well received and already accounts for 50% of all new injury and illness claim, claims being made.